Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mananam Anjali hai, hum achhe hai, kaise hai aap? And today we are going to do a video by Asian Boss called Are Indians Really Good at Math? Yeah. Yeah. So we know that India has brought so many wonderful things to the world and just some very, I mean, I know education is the key. Like everybody wants yeah. to do good. So you do lots and lots of practice. Um, it's the top thing. It's the first thing you do before anything else. Um, but there's just a really a lot of smart Indians that come like to the U.S. that do software engineering, that do, um, you know, they're Google CEOs, they're doctors and surgeons, like yeah. top surgeons, top doctors here in the U.S. I've, it's just amazing, you know, like the Tiandian launch, there was a lot of amazing work that was done um, that way. It just, you know, it, zero came from there. Yeah. Their surgery came from there. Like yoga. I mean, just a lot of peaceful things, but a lot of amazing things. The first radio waves. Like it's smart, smart. So, and hopefully with Modi opening the doors and hopefully a lot more companies will come in, it will become huge. Yeah. Right? So, let's see how smart um, everyday Indians on the street are. Ready? <laughs> Yep. Hey guys, it's Marie from Asian Boss. What is nine cute? Try to figure this out in your head without using a calculator. Of the many stereotypes that people have of Indians, we hit the streets of Mumbai to find out whether or not ordinary Indians are good at math. So let's dive right in. So a BBC report stated that an Indian bride walked out of the wedding after the groom failed to solve 15 plus 6. How do you feel about this? That's so sad. Good thing she did it. <laughs> <It's> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. That's like basic knowledge. Anyone should get to know how to add 15 and 6. All the best to her. Yeah, get a better groom, please. Shameful. I mean, if yeah. I can't do it, I'm, I'll be I'll be okay if someone walks out on me as well. Like, it's such a stupid thing not to... I mean, if you can't solve 15 plus Simple. 6, then you're stupid. Yeah. Then nobody deserves Jane, you. Jane I feel not. bad. Not I obviously feel bad because... Uh, see... Marriage is not something, you know, with two people connect not because of their intelligence. The heart should be connected, I feel. If this was an incident in the rural, rural India, yeah. specifically in the areas like Haryana and that sort okay, of place, okay. so yeah, ha being good at mathematics and sciences is a matter of pride over there. Like uh -huh. relatives will come to your house instead of asking, hey, how you're doing in life, <laughs> how comfortable are you, like what do you want? They will ask you mathematical tables and stuff like that just to prove themselves, <laughs> yeah. make you feel small or like check you out. Globally, Indians are known for being good at math. Do you think this is true? I don't think that's true, but mm. for some specific cases, it could be true. Yeah, it is true. Yeah, I guess in a way, <laughs> yeah. it, it is mm -hmm. a little bit true. The way that we taught math is different than the way, I guess, other countries do. It doesn't stand for everyone, you see. We have a huge diversity in terms of that and not everyone can be good in maths. And that's a wrong conception if you have that. That's because we have a lot of uh, maths from childhood. We don't depend on calculators, we don't depend on computers so much. So definitely yeah. they are better at numbers. In a scale of 1 to 10, how good would you say you are in math? 1. 7. Uh, 7. <laughs> okay. How much do you usually score? Above 90. Actually, I'm really bad. I wouldn't say anything, you can say two or three. I'm going to ask you a couple of math questions, okay? Try your best to answer them, right? What is 87 plus 87? 174. Yeah. 80, uh, 174. What is 87 plus 87? 174. 12 into 14? 168. Yeah, I need it. No. No? Okay. What is the square of 18? 324. What is the square of 18? 18, uh, 324. It's fine. You can take it. Take it. 326. You are there. 324. <laughs> what is the square of 18? 324. That's true. Cube of 9? 9 and 81. Nine. Seven, 721 something like that. 729. 729, yeah. What is the cube of 9? 729. That was fast. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. 
What is the root of 256? 16. Yes. <laughs> what is the square of 12? 144. Okay. And he He's says that I'm not yeah. good at math. What is the cube of 9? Oh, 9 is 729. That's true. Root of 256? Uh huh. Uh, 7749. 16? That's true. What is the cube of 9? Just amazing. Yeah. 729. <laughs> I think everybody knows. Right. What is the root of 256? <laughs> 16. What is the root of 256? Uh, 16. 16, 16 is true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how were those questions? Easy or difficult for you? Um, they were okay. I mean, they were not too hard. These kind of math problems are actually easy for Asians, I think. India seems to have a unique way of calculating big numbers in their head and uh, with their fingers. Could you show me how to do it? So you have like four divisions in each of your fingers, yeah. right? Okay. Four in each. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Daddy it goes to that. twenty. <laughs> five into four, twenty. I was so that one, way you two, keep two, counting. Three, if you have four, to add five. something, suppose eight and four. Mm -hmm. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you have to add four more. So one, two, three, four. That gives you a twelve. How did you do the first one? 87 plus 87? How did you do that? 80 plus 80, that's 160. And then 7 plus 7, 14. Okay. So there you go. Just add both of them up, yeah. Uh, there is more than one way to uh, solve a question, a particular question. And those ways are not just uh, told by our teachers. Or yeah. We, we uh, ourselves discover some ways to solve a particular question. Do students use calculators in school in India? No. No, no calculators. So, yeah. uh, I know that uh, for a fact in uh, universally, I'm pretty sure most of the countries they allow, Western education allows mm -hmm. calculators, but in India, like even right now in college and even for the entrance exams and stuff, mm -hmm. you have no access to calculators, whether it's oh, derivatives, okay. integration, wow. nothing. So, yeah. yeah it's, Do you think that yeah. the Indian society yeah. has high standards for the general public on math? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Indians are expected to know quite a, uh, like mental maths and stuff pretty well. Even if you're in a corporate, if you're working in an office mm -hmm. or something, like there are some things that people expect you to know without taking the to calculate without using a calculator, yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, it does because uh, see, mm. this is the land where zero is yeah. discovered. Okay, so it is intrinsically in our brains that we are good at maths and plus mm -hmm. accounting concepts. Everything was developed in India, so it's a basic understanding with all Indians have in their mind that you should be good in maths. When you're going to the government schools, you'll have below average English teachers, below average social science teachers, okay. but you'll have all right mathematics <laughs> teachers. Mm -hmm. So naturally, your expectations for mathematics grows from there only. If you consider Indian parents, which is the <laughs> Desi parents, then yes, they do actually. I mean, I scored 80 to 100 on math in math, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty good. But my parents were not happy at all. <laughs> what would you like to say to people overseas who have these stereotypes about India? Not all of us are good at math, but quite a few are. So at least it's that's not it. A I mean, there are quite a few things they all are good at too. The yeah. only thing I'd say is the fact that they do not allow children to rely on calculators is mm -hmm. like the biggest thing because mm -hmm. that really does help in the future. If you don't need to, you you don't have the urge to take a calculator out, mm -hmm. and you're able to do stuff on your own. Be very honest. Mm -hmm. I myself want to know and research about that, that why is this, that why is this stereotypical image that we Indians are only uh, good, are, uh, good at maths and why not the outsiders one. Okay. Don't have the stereotype, uh, stereotype in their minds that Indi our only Indians are good at maths. It depends only on the person. This is actually the social pressure due to which uh, the perception is that majority of the Indians are good at mathematics. Actually. Um, the natural capability is, I believe, the same all over the world. It's a socio-cultural phenomenon over here, mm -hmm. which promotes mathematics in a way, and you see the result. Yeah. Too. Did this video change your perspective of Indians' math skills? Let us know in the comments. For more authentic insight into the latest news and culture trends from all over Asia, be sure to subscribe to Asian Boss and follow us on our social media. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. This is amazing, and. Yeah. I, I feel like even though it's kind of a stereotype, it's not a bad stereotype. Um, and it's majority of the time, I think, true. Yeah. But like you said, if you're not using calculators, now here in the U.S. Um, we rely a lot on them. Right. But they don't let you use them in the younger grades. You can't use no. them uh, kindergarten, like like Jaden's age. They want you to learn third grade. one plus one is two, two plus two is three, and your multiplication tables. Um,
until you hit like algebra geometry. yeah but i kind of wish we still didn't use the calculators i kind of wish they then you start us getting mental math mm-hmm, then you start getting adjusted accustomed to like oh the calculator will be a lot faster mm-hmm. yeah but yeah. this whole counting on your fingers um my husband does that when he starts he's done that and i'm like what are you doing and he's like you have different spaces on your fingers but that we count you know, we have 10. That's it. Yeah. So it's kind of nice that you learn a way that you can count that you have higher four numbers. Digits, but we yeah. just go one, two, three. So that's five. 20 on each hand. So you can count at least to 40 or do some addition up to 40 on your, just on your fingers. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You do get kind of used to opening up the calculator. Opening up the calculator. And now that yeah. your phones are in your pocket and you can use it to check numbers too. But yeah, if you do the mental math and you get used to that, you will you. be a lot faster. Mm-hmm. These these guys are I got a few of them, not not as many. I don't I've kind of lost touch with the square roots and stuff like that, but um yeah, this just blows my mind like watching Shakuntala Devi the movie we watched the movie that was amazing it was amazing to see her story her struggles as a mom and then her struggles being like I mean so good at math that you know guys I think were intimidated by her yeah um so that kind of hurt her I think somewhat um but just the way she could do the math and figure stuff out. I know there were some And she tricks. has, like, her own, yeah, like, tips and tricks mm-hmm. that she has her own way of doing math that teachers may not teach. Right. But everybody, like, the way I would add up a number, like, the kid said, you know, um, 87 plus 87. He's like, yeah. 80 plus 80 is 160. Now, me, I'm adding 7 and 7 is 14 and add the 1 and 80. Yeah. So, 9 plus 8. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I do that too. There are some ways that I would think, oh, if you add this and this and then that, it would be a little bit easier. Or if you think halfway is this, you know, like percentages, yeah. then it's not too far to figure out what 45% is or whatever. Um, but here teachers sometimes teach you, you have to do it a certain way to get a certain answer. And sometimes you can do it a different way and get the same answer. Yeah. Um, so, but this is probably why India does well on these exams. If you're not allowed to use a calculator all your life and then you go into these exams, you know the stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. One of the many amazing things that comes out of India and that more of the West needs to learn, like throw the calculators in the trash. <laughs> yeah. And, Get these kids to smarten up a little bit, a little bit. More things to learn from India. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. And don't forget to subscribe. And join the wonderful growing Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.